Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to have an actor pace back and forth just like in Super Mario, those little turtles that go back and forth on the ledges. Now a lot of people think that you need to have invisible actors on both sides you know, to kind of tell the actor when to stop and turn around and go the other way. That's just not true, there's a much better way to do this and I'm going to show you now. So I have my actor set up right here and we're going to double click on it and I'm going to record the X position. So that's 430. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring this actor to the other side where I want it to paste from. And then I'm going to double click on it again and then the X of that is 272. Okay. So now we're going to go into that actor. Now that we know the start and the stop point of where we want it to paste from. So we're going to go in the actor and the first thing I'm going to do, because I want it to go right first, I'm going to put a change attribute, self, motion, linear velocity, x, x is because it's left and right, to a positive number of 100. So that's the speed I'm going to have a pace at. And then I'm going to create a rule. And I'm going to say if attribute, self, position, x, is greater than, and we're going to take our high number, the other side, which was 430. So if it's greater than 430, I want it to turn around. So we're going to put a change attribute in here. Self, motion, linear velocity, x. Now I'm going to put a negative number, so we're going to go minus 100. So that way it goes the other direction. And then I'm going to take this rule and I'm going to copy it and drag it down here. And then we're going to tell it to go back the other way again. So we're going to say if it's less than this time, and we're going to put our low number, which was 272. So if it's less than 272, so if it passes that point, we're going to tell it to turn around and go the other way. So we're going to do a positive number again of 100. Now this is very important. You want to make sure you turn friction off. Because if you don't, it may slow down to a point where it doesn't get to that spot. Now we're going to hit preview, and you'll see that my actor moves. When it gets to the spot, it turns around and goes the other way. No need to set up bumpers or invisible walls or anything like that. There's no constraints, so you can stomp, stomp on it, destroy it, have it hit you. No big deal. But it will go back and forth between those two spots no matter what. I hope that helps, and I'll see you again over at gshelper.com.